key when you're playing a uh, heavy underdog. Getting set to go. Here at the UPMC Event Center. Marion Tisdale Couch will jump center against Khalil Spear for Robert Morris. The tip controlled by the Colonials. Cam Ferris, who missed the first part of the season because he was in the concussion protocol, is playing in his first home game here this year. Here's Dunn with a high low. And there is Spear with the throwdown. Yeah, just a beautiful pass by Rasheem Dunn. Uh, a good execution. That's what Andy Tool's looking for in this game. He wants to see his team execute offensively. Take a look at the starting lineups presented by 412 Winery, where their grapes may be grown in California and Chile, but their wines are handcrafted with tradition in Moon Township. It's a look at Lancaster Bibles lineups as we see Harrisman out front. Feeding over to the right side. The pull-up is missed by 23, Tyler Hilton. A look at the RMU starters, again presented by 412 Winery here tonight. This is Dunn bouncing around outside. Winston with a quick tap over to Cheeks up front. Ferris is left wide open. But he couldn't drain it. Now the ball comes out of bounds right in front of us. Yeah, great uh, execution by Robert Morris. First two possessions. You get Cam Ferris a wide open shot like that. 60% uh, of the time he'll bury that three point shot. You know, Robert Morris has gone to his own. Andy Tool is so disgusted with his man-to-man -man that he's actually uh, going to try to play zone, exclusively zone, too. I don't even think he's going to mix it up that much. He's going to play, uh, try to master this zone and see, see what happens. The high post is where the uh, weakness is in that zone, Chris, and uh, Robert Morris uh, will give that up. Shot clock was winding down. Shrewbridge tried to throw one up from the corner. Transition run, Colonials, and they throw away the basketball. The Sereka comes away with it. He'll run the floor. Sends it back over to Schubert. Same spot this time he nails a three, and Lancaster Bible has the early lead here, three to two, with almost two minutes gone. Now, Schubert is the one guy when you're playing with a zone defense, you have to find out where he is on the floor. He's a tremendous three point shooter. Kick to the corner, and out of bounds was Cam Farris. Barris with a slow start this year, Jim, and he's now averaging 10 points a ball game, but he missed uh, the first half of the first half of the season so far. As we take a look at John Mack, he's the head coach at Lancaster Bible, the 14th head coach in their history, and he was hired on May 23rd, 2019, and has led this program since that date. Lancaster Bible can put some points on the board. They've got some really, really good outside shooters. So uh, Robert Morris is going to have to really buckle down here defensively. Entry pass and a kick out to Shoebridge once again. He'll try another triple, but miss. And he knocks Cheeks, rips it down. Cheeks with a little chicken wing on the defender that time. Got it to Winston. Now it's done with the floater. Yes. Yeah, very nice shot. Colonel should be able to get the ball inside anytime they want. And actually, and Rasheem Dunn should be able to get to the paint anytime he wants. Mr. Bible moving the ball around pretty well. Up front it comes to Hilton. Shoebridge, he's the guy to watch. Cam Ferris is all over him right now. The middle is open, but Lancaster Bible hasn't uh, discovered that yet. It, it... Corner jumper off the mark by Ty Arisman. And the Colonials again collect the carom. Here's Rasheem Dunn trying to penetrate inside the lane. We're going to get a foul here. First whistle of the ball game. It's on Ty Arisman, 6'1 junior guard out of Lancaster, PA. And there's a shot of Andy Tool, head coach of the Colonials. Really got his work cut out for him this year, trying to put together this team. 0 oh, 7. That's frustrating time for Coach Tool right now. Trying yeah. to find the right chemistry. And he has played some really good competition, Chris. Oh, I mean, yeah. There's no doubt about it. Even the two conference opponents. Here's Dunn, short with a floater this time from the right baseline. Lancaster Bible taking advantage. The Colonials not getting back. And over on the left side wing, Shrewbridge fails. The Colonials are going to dig that one off the ground, and that's Winston, the same Bonaventure transfer. Up to Spear, who came in from Bucknell and played a full season last year. If you can call last year a full season anyway, here he is. He has the replay. He's gotten to the line quite a bit this year. I think 
He leads the, uh, him and Rasheem Dunn have gotten to the line more than any other Colonials by far. And he's shooting 75%, almost 76% from the line. So Coil Spear's done a really nice job on the offensive end. From the Colony, Texas, in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Very proud of his hometown. We had a long conversation one day about the Colony. I said, you know, Khalil, that's a, a really unique name for, for a town. He said, I didn't realize it until I, I started traveling and, and went elsewhere. But, yeah, it is cool. And he's going to nail him. Colonials lead 6-3. little token pressure. Colonials are trying to eat some time off the clock. This is something they'll do occasionally. So now uh, Lancaster Bible has 18 seconds to score. So that's, uh, it's, he's basically, Andy Tool's working on this four conference play in the, in the Horizon League. Kralov up front. Nice drop pass to the low post, but the finish not there for Tisdale Couch. And the Colonials again in transition. Sheik Snow looks skip pass. Farris to Winston on the wing, and his shot hits rim. Yeah, Colonials should try to get that ball inside every time. There's a nice block. Leo Spear averaging a block plus a game, but again, the rejection came down in favor of Lancaster Bible, and they trail by one. No, that, that play is pretty, uh, what, it kind of shows you what the Colonials are like this year. That, that, there should have been somebody there to clean that up after he blocked that shot, and everybody was kind of just standing and watching. Another nice pass by Enoch Cheeks to Justin Winston, and he finishes it easily. Boy, Winston just got his eyes on that ball right at the last second. Too. Yeah, no need to shoot threes that much, uh, especially early in this game. You want to get the ball inside, soften them up, and then maybe later on take some threes. Fralo dumps one down deep and gets it back over on the left lane side. Shrewbridge, long three try, fails, rebound Cheeks. Colonials run, Cheeks takes it all the way. And he's hit before the layup. Timeout on the floor with 14.35 left here in the first half of play. Robert Morris leads Lancaster Bible. Go to the free throw line. Look at Andy Tool. Crowd behind him. Cheeks with his first hit. That'll be his first point of the game as well. Leal Spear has four for Robert Morris. Two apiece for Justin Winston and Rasheem Dunn. And Cheeks now has two. Three points for Shrewbridge and two for Grant Sereka for Lancaster Bible as the Chargers move it up the court. Yeah, see, the Clones are trying to just take the time off the clock here. Dribble drive and a floater rolls around. It falls out no good for Jakari Wilkins out of Newport News, Virginia. Nice shovel off, and this is going to be Mayers with a slam dunk from Michael Green the third, who we haven't seen in several games. Yeah, he's, he was sick, pretty sick with that COVID, and he just a uh, real, real nice penetration move and a real sweet pass. Andy Tool did not start Green tonight, working him back in the lineup slowly. Yeah, he's got to get back in shape. I'm, I'm sure he's going to be exhausted here tonight. He's a starting point guard in the opening games. Now the shot clock down to five, and Mayers with a pickoff. Matt Mayers with a good hands there from Hastings on Hudson, New York. Green will go inside to Spear. Try to wrap the pass around, and it got picked up by Prelo with his good hands. There he is, the big guy, Shrewbridge. You got to get to him quicker, Chris. You haven't done your job if he gets the shot off. You got to get out there so fast where he has to pass the ball back out. Drew Bridge from New Holland, Pennsylvania. Now Rasheem Dunn on the drive and gets a shot partially blocked, but they're going to say there's a foul as well. It's going to be on Jordan Shrewbridge. That'll be his first. Yeah, I think the referee's telling Rasheem Dunn, be careful of your left arm that time. He, he, Gave uh, Shrewbridge a little bit of a shot on the way in with his elbow. Very physical guard, very physical point guard. Started at St. John's, Chris. Averaged 10 points a game. He's really starting to come on for the Colonials last couple weeks. Robert Morris fans will remember him, Jim, uh, because his career originated at St. Francis in Brooklyn. He is a Brooklyn native. 
before he transferred to St. John's, graduated from there, and now he's a graduate player here at Robert Morris. And uh, I remember him playing against the Colonial several years Absolutely. ago. Absolutely. Tough guy, and he brought that here. Yeah, he liked the way uh, Robert Morris played. He liked the way Andy Toole coached, and uh, just for his fifth year, he, extra year, he came back uh, to Robert Morris, and they're glad to have him. Up front, Wilkins, Shrewbridge on the right. Inside out play. Off the mark that time, and Cheeks with a rebound. Outlet done. Green, left side drive. Another good pass, Chris, another good pass. And another good shot there by Cheeks. Yeah. Michael Green, though. Penetration, kick it out. That's Robert Morris basketball right there. Mr. Bible trying to move it around. They do so nicely. Look at that swoop wow. shot down in the low post. Jalen Glasgow, who just came in out of Princess George County in Maryland. He's only a freshman. Boy, that was an athletic move. I like the goggles, too. Yeah. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, Spear with a throw down from Rasheen Dunn. Yeah, I think Spear is going to have a big game here tonight. The Colonials keep going to him. He's the biggest man on the floor, with the exception of Mayers, who's now in the ball game. We're about the same size, same height. Ball got away for a second there. Comes Prelo. We're going to get an offensive foul. Or is this going to be the other way? Coming to a timeout with 11.41 to go here in the first half. Yep. Pretty good start for Robert Morris now. I thought the starters that started the game a little bit slow. This, I think this uh, group here that's on the floor for Robert Morris has picked it up. And then Cam Ferris comes back in the game. He's going to give Rasheem Dunn a little break. Leo Spear with six points in the ball game, and Jordan Shoebridge for Lancaster Bible also has six. They're the game leaders to the moment. Yeah, Shoebridge, boy, he's got the green light. I mean, he's allowed to yank it up just about any time he wants because he can really shoot it. There's a little lob shot missed this time by Tyler Hilton, and the Colonials clear it. Camp Barris wants it too strong. Mayers with another good move in the post. Nice square up and fire. Really nice jump hook. I'd like to see this young man get going. I think he's got a lot of talent, but he's really struggled adjusting to Division One play. His fourth point of the ball game, and now a missed shot by Lancaster Bible, but the Chargers steal it back. And they're going to be able to keep it in their end as it was last touched by Michael Green, who tried to re-thief it, if you will. It's time for the inside scoop presented by Perry's Ice Cream, the official ice cream of the RMU Colonials. Under RMU, Pat Gallagher head coach Andy Toole, Robert Morris wins over 71% of its games when it hits at least 10 three-pointers. The Colonials knocked down a season-high 10 triples at Milwaukee. Five different Colonials splashed a triple against the Panthers, including a combined 7-for-11 performance from guards Cam Farris and Rasheem Dunn in their last game. Yeah, Andy Tool's teams have always been pretty good three-point shooting teams, especially the really good teams. They shoot a, a real high percentage because he does not allow them to take bad three-point shots. They take wide-open three-point shots. Chargers throw it back into play. Prelo way out front. Calls for Sereka to take it. Leaves it in the corner for Arisman. And now the long three is missed. And the Colonials bobble the rebound attempt. Tristan Jeffries fresh into the ball game. Threw it right off of Matt Mayer's face. And now Mayers ends up with a rebound of that missed shot. You know, Lancaster bobbles just shooting a lot of three-point shots. They have no inside game against the Colonials, so they're just going to try to work the ball, try to knock down some threes to stay in this again. And Green got hit. It's like Ty Arisman got him from behind. We're going to call it on oh, Mario Tisdale Couch. Oh. Yeah, he cut in front. I didn't see that. Harrisman was coming from behind. It'll be Tisdale Couch's first personal foul. Third team foul against Lancaster Bible. Michael Green at the stripe, and he'll connect. Yeah, Michael Green, pretty solid three, uh, free, free throw shooter. Doesn't get to the line all that much. He's a kind of a small guy, a little guy. 
Got them both, and now the Colonials are up 22 to 10. The Colonials playing some solid defense right now. Yeah. Lancaster Bible having trouble finding an opening. Yeah, they're smothering them right now. They're doing a pretty good job in the zone. This is what Andy told one to see. Shot clock at four. This is what he wanted to see. Desperation shot almost went down, though. No, Colonials should push it up, see if they can get something inside, Chris. Don't even need to shoot a three. Matt Mayer has yanked down another rebound, and now Winston is looking for Green, shoveled the ball over to him, shoveled it right out of play. Kind of a sloppy play that time. A little miscommunication between Justin Winston and Michael Green. Time for the nugget of the game presented by Chick-fil-A Robinson in North Fayette. Block Burgers, Dunk Chicken. Well, Khalil Spear has played in 25 Robert Morris University basketball games since transferring from Bucknell. And counting the one he had earlier, he now has 31 blocks. That's a testament to his wingspan. That's good for 1.2 blocks per game, Jim. And that was a big block that he had earlier in our telecast. Yeah, you can see he's got great leaping ability and uh, really good timing. Speaking of leaping ability and timing, how about that adjustment by Justin Winston in mid-air? Yeah, Colonial's pushing that ball up the floor. I like seeing him push it up the floor, especially against uh, Lancaster Bible. He should be able to get some easy shots. Now back to Khalil Spear, you were talking before the game started. He reminds yeah. you of a couple of old-time players. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you ever watched, uh, well, I know you have, Connie Hawkins <laughs> and Julius Irving, the way they played the game with one hand a lot. That's what Khalil Spear does. He's got huge fingers. There he is making a steal. Now he's going to make a nice dish here. Barris with a jump stop, bank shot. Right Good. on cue, Khalil, thank you. <laughs> Khalil Spear should, I already said, he's going to have a big game here tonight. He'll just, probably be unstoppable. And you just demonstrated how old both of us are. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> we remember Connie Hawkins and the Doc. Met both of them, actually. Is that right? I think, I, let me see. I don't know if I met Connie Hawkins, to be honest. I, now that I think about it, but I know I met Julius Irving. Yeah, Connie Hawkins was an old tennis uh, playing buddy of my old coach, uh, Jared Thorne. Yeah. Well, here comes Cheeks. Uh, that's a good three-point shot right there, Chris. And Ferris landed it. Yeah. There he goes. Yeah, when it, when it comes, when the penetration gets into the key and then kick it out, that's a good shot for Cam Ferris to take. Well, you said the Colonials yeah, this is in the pregame keys need to play 40 minutes of defense. Right now, they've, they've played quite a few minutes of defense. Right. Their goal against Lancaster Bible should not let you get shots off. It should get a couple there. That kind of shot, you don't mind, but it, he can make it. Yeah, that one was almost an NBA range three-pointer for Jordan Shrewbridge out yeah. of New Holland, Pennsylvania. Shrewbridge averages 23 points a game, shoots 53% from three-point land. Camp Ferris. The spear dug it off the floor. And they pay him back. Yeah, nice passing. This is good to see. I, I think if the Colonials end up with around 20 assists for the game, Andy Poole's got to be pleased because they're not getting, they haven't gotten that this year yet. It's going to be a turnover. Uh, Lancaster Bible missing the dribble is Grant Sereka out of Swedesboro, New Jersey. We've come to another timeout. 7 one to go. Harder. Dig deeper. Ask one more question. Take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. Coach Robert Morris has held Lancaster Bible to just 5 of 22 shooting from the field. That equates to 22.7%. They've hit just three of their 15 trays so far. That's 20%. Yeah, exactly. And that's what Andy Cole wants to see. He wanted to see his defense uh, shut somebody down. They hadn't done it all year. Here's Ferris wide open again. Yes. Yeah, when he starts filling it, because he's a streak shooter, you know, he can really drain him. That's eight for Cam Barris. Yeah, so usually when you score, your defense picks up. You know, let's see if we have a little more movement, a little more activity from the colonial zone. Nice drop-off pass, but nothing open underneath for the shot, so Schubert will try it from outside and miss. And Khalil Spear brings down another rebound. Pass got deflected. Enoch Sheik saved it. Little hook pass to Winston. No. See, nobody rebound. Let's see. Justin Winston takes the shot, and there's nobody there. There's a nice steal, though, by Rasheem Dunn. 
And he misses the layup. And that's been a problem for him this year. Yeah. I think he wanted to dunk that, and then he changed his mind, and that'll be a basket for Shoebridge. Cost the Colonials three points. Yeah. Five point swing. I mean, it's not going to hurt him probably in this game, but it will in the, during the season in the pushing horizon play. Shoebridge, we knew he was going to come in here and heave it up. 12 points so far. Yeah. He, he's got the green light, and when he gets hot, he can score. Thumbs done. Finger roll miss. He got a body down on the floor. The officials blew the whistle on a foul. I believe that's on Tyler Hilton. Chris, he tried to pick up a charge on Rasheem Dunn. Here's Rasheem Dunn at the free throw line for Robert Morris. 76% from the chalk so far this year. Just not working right now in this stretch. Struggling a little bit. Usually a pretty good free throw shooter for the Colonials. I'd like to see the Colonials get on that offensive glass a little bit. They've only got uh, one offensive rebound here so far. Well, they're not missing many either, so that's probably one of the reasons why. There you go, like that. Inside the ball got picked right out of the hands of Khalil Spear. That was a good shot by Jordan Fralo to stop that from Baltimore. Robert Morris gets it back in from baseline left. Well, the officials want to check. They might be able to get something inside. On the side of Bonds play. Ferris catches and shoots, and this one tumbles out. Shoebridge with a rebound and the dribble drive. That was a good block by Cam oh, Ferris. It sure was. Comes Khalil Spear, and this is going to be an offensive foul. Yeah, Shoebridge made a real smart play. He saw Khalil Spear was going to try to take it all away. Held his ground. Here's the replay. Khalil Spear brings it up. Shoebridge is just waiting for him. I, I, I tell you what, that was not a good call. He moved right into Khalil Spear. Khalil Spear jumped to the left. Shoebridge went with him. Can't move. Twisting, turning shot. Missed that time by Jalen Glasgow. And Barris, he likes that spot, but he's going to move it inside the paint. Try to see if you can get area, get it inside. Make the little skill work and make, make a pass. Somebody should hit the glass now after he shoots. Nice baby jump look that time. Khalil Spear over top of Glasgow. And it's a 20 point Robert Morris lead with four and a half minutes left here in the first half of the play. Yeah. yeah Colonials, uh, sometimes a game like this will do wonders for uh, some of the players' confidence who've been struggling this year. Shoebridge, short. Mayers with another rebound. He's been all over the window. He's done a good job here. He's one of the guys, I think, if uh, he can get confident, he can really be a factor for the Colonials here in the, in the future. Probably had a few more, but I, the stat sheet has him down as his fifth rebound of the game. The spouse. Try to wrap that ball around, but again, a hand by Tyler Hilton in the way, deflects the ball, and we've come to another stoppage here with 3.55 left in the first half of play. Khalil Spear with 10 points and four rebounds for Robert Morris. Jordan Shoebridge for Lancaster Bible. Leading the Chargers with a dozen points in the ballgame so far. Yeah, game's pretty much gone as the uh, way we thought it would. Colonials uh, came out a little bit slow, but playing much better lately. Michael Green coming off the COVID protocol. Drains a triple for Robert Morris. Five points now for Green. Yeah, Andy Tool wanted to see his team play together, and right now they're, they're getting a ton of assists, and that's a good sign. Going to get a foul here on Winston for bodying the dribbler, Jordan Frelo, out of bounds. 11, 14 field goals, 11 assists for the Colonials so far, Chris. That's, that's a wonderful stat. Hilton will inbound. Shoebridge up front. Drops the bounce to Jakari Wilkins. 
Entry pass to Whoa. Hilton, and he went <laughs> tumbling down. That's a trip on Green. Yeah, Michael Green actually is not even supposed to go into the high post when the ball enters in there. He's supposed to flare out, find a three-point shooter, but he took a, took a chance that he could strip the ball, but didn't quite get it. Hey, don't forget, coming up at halftime, we'll take a look at the impact players, first half highlights and stats, and the out-of-town scoreboard all brought to you by UPMC Sports Medicine, the official sports medicine provider to Robert Morris University and the Colonials. Yeah, nice shot by Jakari Wilkins. Three-point land, Chris. Nice ball movement that time by Lancaster Bible. Wilkins' first basket of the game. Here's Dunn lobbing it for Mayers. Mayers got fouled. Yeah, nice execution again. The Colonials were working on screening rolls the other day. Practice really hard. Liz Shoebridge's second personal foul. I think Matt Mayers is going to get a lot of minutes here tonight. You know, he's probably only averaging around 10 to 12 minutes a game, but uh, he's going to get a lot of, lot of minutes as Andy Tool's trying to get that confidence going a little bit. Mayers with five points and five rebounds. Pretty nice stat so far for Matt Mayers. going to be a sideline violation back foot stepped out of bounds a push foot for Jakari Wilkins he got caught on the painted line Colonials with the ball back with 246 to go counting down here on the clock in the first half of play they're up 40 to 19 at home at the UPMC event center in the West Hills of Pittsburgh PA this machine done couldn't get the layup to finish but he did get the whistle to blow He's driving in, leaving a lot of his shots short for some reason. Probably looks like a foot from the rim. Indianapolis is the heart of college basketball, and every March, the home of the Horizon League Basketball Championships. The action starts March 1st and 3rd on campus before culminating in Indianapolis, March 7th and 8th at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum. Come join the excitement and find out who will reach the horizon. For more information, go to horizonleague.com slash Indy. Tell you what, Indy is a great basketball town. We all know that from the Final Four, and I was talking to uh, Commissioner Julie Rowe Latch on the road the other day and, and just so excited to get to go there for the championships this year for the Horizon League men's and women's tournaments. Yeah, it's a great, great basketball area. The state of Indiana itself is just tremendous. Great players there also. So much to do in Indy during basketball season so yeah. much to do in indy all the time of course i attended a final four there one time that I was great too. yeah it was great yep that was the only one i ever attended was in indy <laughs> i remember going through the ncaa hall of champions which is in indianapolis that's one of my favorite spots in town it's camp Ferris. mayors who's had a nice game for robert morris five and five so far Jeffries with a nice kick to the corner to Dunn. And Dunn shovels it off to Winston. And again, the Colonials can't finish, and Jeffries misses. Mayers finally puts it in. That's his seventh point. Yeah. Uh oh, somebody's got to get back on defense. And they didn't in time, and that's an easy bunny that time for Grant Sereka. Sereka is a pretty good player for Lancaster Bible. Colonials have really done a good job. Holds like one of the few games where Robert Morris has a distinct height advantage. They, they're usually the smaller team on the floor, so it's nice to be able to take advantage of that and uh, get some uh, easy shots inside, which the Colonials have done. You don't have to rely on the three all the time. Big lead for Robert Morris. Just over a minute and a half to go here in half number one. Nice ball movement out on the perimeter. And a bank shot for Rasheem Dunn. Yeah, that's exactly how the offense is designed. Get the ball moving, swing it back and forth, and then when you have an opportunity, get to the basket. Mm, might have been a little bit of a travel right there for Hilton. Yep. 
No whistle. Colonials in transition now. Oh, there's the alley oop from yeah. Dunn into the hands of Khalil Spear. Yeah, you could feel that one coming. Khalil Spear says, "Let me get it to my man Rasheem because I know he's going to lob it to me." Khalil, uh, Khalil Spears, Spears going to uh, set a uh, record for dunks, I think tonight. <laughs> wow. He may. He's an Iron Man. He's all over the iron. <laughs> Maybe back. blocks too. Yeah, for sure. Nice backdoor pass, but stolen by the Colonials. Transition run. Ferris. Finish. Really, really nice basketball for the Colonials. That's got to make Andy feel happy. Even, even though you're playing an inferior opponent, uh, really just a uh, good ball movement. Sometimes you have a tendency to pick up bad habits in these type of games. Ooh, wow. there was a long triple that time by Jakari Wilkins out of Newport News, Virginia. Just a freshman at 5'9". Yeah, that's his second three. Really nice looking shot, too. And you said, Chris, they have some shooters on this team. Just 10 seconds left. Colonials holding. Green with a kick to the right side wing. Farris with a drainer at the buzzer. And the Colonials go up 30, 54 to 24 at halftime. With Jim Elias, Chris Shovlin on the call. A bit later on, Edwardsville hosting Purdue Fort Wayne tonight. Yeah, the Rising League's taking their lumps here in the pre, uh, preseason. They've had a tough time because they're like Robert Morris. They all play tough schedules. So the records aren't great in the Horizon League, but you'll see them get better and better as the year goes on. It's a good basketball league. There's a kick out to the right corner. Schubert had to chase it down. Now, Brelo. Back to Schubert up front. High left, Sereka. In the lane, a foul line jumper missed this time by Prelo, and the Colonials again bring down the rebound to earth here. Robert Morris has 24 rebounds compared to Lancaster Bibles 10 in this game. Stalil Spear using the body. But the hook shot is soft, and the Colonial is going to give it up. Well, it was almost like that ball was stuck in his hand. It didn't come out clean, and uh, he ended up hitting the front of the rim. Squeezing that orange a little too hard. Uh-huh. You ever see Shaquille O'Neal shoot fouls? <laughs> That's what it looked like. <laughs> the ball looked like it's stuck in his hand because his hand's so big. Don't talk about Shaq. I don't want him coming after us. Uh, here's a steal, two-on-one break. Dunn puts it up for Ferris and a finish. Good ball sharing. Yeah, and the seventh assist for uh, Rasheem Dunn. And boy, that's what Andy Tool likes to see. Oh, Cam Ferris, 16 points. Uh, he's, he's having a tremendous game. From the corner. That one's off. Schubert is there with a stick back and count it. We're going to get a foul in the low post area here. On, Rashid, or on uh, Khalil Spear, I should say. Yeah, uh, Shoebridge was able to get that weak side rebound because Justin Winston, for some reason, was on the ground under the basket, and that's his area. That's, I think that's probably the first offensive rebound, maybe or first or second for Lancaster Bible. Shoebridge frustrated with himself after missing the free throw. Machine done. Alley oop as he goes tumbling over. Spear couldn't finish it, but Enoch Cheeks buries it from the right corner. Chargers will find man out front. That's going to be Sereka. I'm sure they'll go right back to that high post area. Prelo is wide open in that high post. Cardinals will give that up. Crowd no look bounce pass into that low post and Justin Winston with a steal off the ground. Rasheem done. So cheeks in the corner again and again. Yeah, are getting some wide open looks. Got some guys that can shoot it. A shot off for Sereka. And the Chargers will get to keep in their own end. Ball deflected back out by Enoch Cheeks in the quick hands. Yeah, what the opponents don't want to do, though, is start yanking up a lot of threes, even though they've made a couple here. 
still want to continue to go back inside the tool spear and Justin Winston. Shoebridge looking for some help. Nice dribble weave down into the low post, but they couldn't get the finish from Tisdale Couch, and now Colonials are going to come away with a rock once again. So I'll try to get it inside this time. Barris. Nice little touch floater. He's got a variety of shots, that's for sure. And tonight he's knocking them all down. Took Camp Barris a while to work himself back into the lineup after being out with a non-basketball related concussion. And uh, good to see him starting to pick up his game again. again the Colonials really, really missed him in the yeah, first several ball games. He's one of the few guys that had any experience from last year. He had the most experience from anybody, him and Khalil Spear. Cheeks has heated it up here in the second half. And Ferris is just continuing to burn. No, they're taking turns. Passing the ball, getting a lot of shots from the corners off penetration. Schubert, they left him open yep. just long He's enough. Deadly. He is absolutely deadly. That great touch. <laughs> Rasheem Dunn got checked in the backcourt by Tyler Hilton. Well, you can just see that foul ready to happen. Rasheem time was smacking his hands. I don't think Tyler Hilton appreciated that and ended up following Rasheem Dunn. Green is going to return for Robert Morris. Another guy coming back off of the A protocol. I guess, you know, we've had a guy in concussion protocol, a guy in COVID protocol, and too many protocols, if you ask me. That's Jim. for sure. I just uh, I say haven't gotten anything together. They very rarely have a practice with the full squad. Barris. Yes. Not much Lancaster Bible can do here. No. That was a nice pass. That was pretty. That was something they could do here. That was a real good play. And Marion Tisdale counts with the finish. Yeah, really nice pass to play. They should keep going to him. Winston from half court from Enoch Cheeks. You know, Cheeks is racking up some assists here today also. He's got some beautiful passes. See that high post is where you want to go. Drop it into the high post and put your best player there and let him work. Long three, and this one too hard. Shakari Wilkins. Cheeks hopped in the lane, got his pocket picked by Tyler Hilton. Fast break, shoe bridge, Very back over nice. to the right side. The layup blocked. Tisdale Couch didn't get the finish there. Was it Winston who got his hands on it? And now it down was. to the other end, Spear with the soft jam, if you will. Put it up on the tin and it fell in. Gonna get a foul call as well. well so confident. In that. He, he need Enoch Cheeks isn't bad either. He's knocking him down from three. He's done a tremendous job from the outside. He's three for three from three. He hasn't missed a shot tonight. Enoch Cheeks. Khalil Spear at the free throw line finishes the play. How about Cam Paris though? Back to him. 24 points. Oh my goodness. Six of nine from Trey. Nine of 12 from the field overall. Yeah, he's having a game. That's for sure. Now a steal by Spear. Michael Green wants it. Short. And the rebound to Hilton. Missed that time from Glasgow from deep in the left corner. There's Dunn trying to square inside the paint. The change of hands didn't help. Michael Green. Oh, Enoch Cheeks went diving into the chairs, but he's okay. Still the Chargers come away with the ball. This Matt Mayer is another rebound. Yeah, he's racking him up, that's for sure. It's his seventh. Now, here's where you don't want to start picking up bad habits with this. Start executing your offense. Like that. Oh, Green with a nice spin move in the bank. Green was rookie of the year in the Northeast Conference. I think it was a couple seasons ago or was it last year? I'm not sure. I think it was last year when he was at Bryant. 
We're gonna get another foul here. This is gonna be on Mayers of Robert Morris. Yeah, here comes the drive. See Matt Mayers, you gotta put your hands straight up in the air. You're allowed to jump nowadays. There's allowed to be contact. You won't get the foul call if you just put your hands straight in the air. Jim, I think you were right the first time. Uh, that was two years ago. That he was a, a, a newcomer, rookie of the year in the NEC. Andy Tool liked his game. Yeah. Transferred in from Bryant University up in Rhode Island. Yeah, he's he's struggling a little bit here with the Colonials. Um, like I said, most of them are actually. You know, they're just uh, having a hard time picking up what the Colonials like to do offensively and defensively. But it'll come. It's going to take time. You don't know how long it's going to take. Hilton able to score a couple from the line. 77-35. Robert Morris with a big lead here. Still 13 and a half to go as you can see the clock ticking down. At the bottom of your screen, Chris Shublin, Jim Elias on the call here tonight. Ian Conley is our director. Dylan Thompson, our producer here at the UPMC Event Center. We got a lean in layup from Rasheem Dunn and he got undercut on the play. I think he's... I think uh, Jackson Witt, I believe that was, because he just didn't play in the first half. Jackson Witt tried to take a charge, and he was standing inside the uh, restricted area, I believe. And Dunn made a pay with a three-point play the old-fashioned way. You're right, Jackson Witt, the junior out of Brevard, North Carolina, is in for the first time tonight. Nice Here's Dunn. Off of green steel. Spear! Boy, they got a nice chemistry going, Rasheem Dunn and Khalil Spear. You run the court with uh, Rasheem Dunn, you're going to get it rewarded. Raylo, the young man out of Baltimore, the shooter. Underneath Prelo kicks it out to the left corner, and that three-point ball is off the mark for Jakari Wilkins. Another rebound for Robert Morris. And the Colonials bring it into the forecourt. Get inside the Matt Mayers here. Oh, there's a travel. Oh, no, that's one of the few turnovers tonight for the Colonials. Eight turnovers for Robert Morris. Probably don't want to get more than 10 for this type of game. Sereka returns. Wilkins goes out. We'll see Marion Sisdale Couch come back into the ballgame now for Lancaster Bible. Playing the Division III NCAA United East Conference. Three off the mark for Prelo and the rebound again to Khalil Spear of Robert Morris. You know, give that ball up. Probably should have passed that up to Rasheem Dunn that time. Well, he's looking like a guard out there. Yeah, the well, he, oh, he can handle it. <laughs> he's definitely got some good skill for a big guy. It's Mayers. Ooh, tried to rifle that pass down in the low post and got picked off. Good defensive play that time by Sereka. Skip over to the left. And that three ball is off the mark for Jackson Witt. Chargers keep it alive. Shoe bridge. And that will make Robert Morris pay for the error. Yep. Take advantage of turnovers. Colonials have turned it over here a couple times in the last minute. Young man from Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania, here in the Pittsburgh area on the roster for Lancaster Bible, that's Ethan Beachy. We have not seen him in the ball game yet. And, uh, you know, we were just looking down through the roster, studying the game as we came in tonight, just looking for some likenesses here or there. That was really one of the rarities on that Lancaster Bible roster. Matt Bears went up to get the rebound. He might have poked but if his opponent, Shoebridge, in the eye. And Shoebridge is going to walk away holding his left eye here. Under Here's the delivery of the game presented by Fox's Pizza Moon Township. Talk about a delivery. Rasheem Dunn to Khalil Spears. Just like a great delivery from Fox's Pizza Moon they, Township. They, they've had uh, great chemistry here tonight. Every time Khalil Spear runs the floor, Rasheem Dunn delivers that lob to him. 
And that time, the delivery went over the hands of the intended receiver, Tristan Jeffries, who's back into the ball game right now. 24 points for Cam Ferris. He leads all scorers in the ball game. Although Jordan Shrewbridge of Lancaster Bible has hit the 20 mark. He has. He's. Uh, he, I tell you what, the kid scores on everybody. I think the only game he, he didn't score in double figures was uh, Campbell. Very low working underneath, giving to Arisman, who we haven't seen in a while. There's Arisman. Line drive three off the mark. And again, Matt Mayers with another rebound for Robert Morris. His eighth of the night to go along with eight, uh, seven points. That's what they want. They want to see rebounds from him. They're not worried about his scoring as much as uh, just defending rebound. That was a bad pass by Justin Winston. And Winston will block the shot, but that's going to be a goal 10. So it won't count as a block. It'll count as two points for Grant Sareka, the sophomore. The Cardinals had eight turn. Here's the replay on that. But the, the, the turnovers by the Cardinals, they had eight, eight and a half time. Now they've got 12. So they got four here already in the second half. That's one of the things Andy Tool won't be pleased about. Halfway through the second half of play now. Winston gets it over to Rasheem Dunn. Andy Tool, you can see the corner, upper corner of your screen coaching up Brandon Stone. He's not even in his uniform. He's in street clothes as we see another big shot. Again, another assist for the Colonials. They're racking them up tonight. There's a three from Ty Arisman from the corner. That's his first bucket of the night. I'll tell you, if you leave Lancaster Bible open, they'll drain a pretty good percentage of them. The Colonials have done a pretty good job of contesting most of the shots. That one was wide open, though. Done. Pop shot. Mid-range lane. No. Arisman rebound. Hilton. Play catch on the sideline. Well, Sereka gets it in his hands from Prelo. That one gets thrown away. And it's saved by Sereka. From the corner. Three ball is off the mark for Hilton. Follow up won't go either. Somehow Lancaster Bible keeps it alive. Another deflected ball, but it bounces right back to the Chargers. The shot clock is dwindling. It's at five. Michael Green is exhausted right now. He wants to come out. Shot blocked by Tristan Jeffries on the other number 13 in the game. Marion Tilsdale couch. This is like the fourth offensive rebound. Andy Tool cannot be happy about that. Like I said, it's not going to cost him, but you pick up bad habits. Shot clock at three. And a missed shot. And again, Mayers comes down with a rebound, his ninth of the contest. Michael Green is winded out there, Jim. And yeah. again, he's coming off of the COVID protocol. And, and he started limping a little bit. He's only had one practice, Chris. So it's amazing that he's played this well. There's Winston from downtown. Couldn't go. The rebound to Tristan Jeffries, and he gets dragged from behind on the play by Tyler Hilton. <laughs> Timeout with 7.41 to play. Robert Morris, 85. Dig deeper. Ask one more question. Take one more shot in relentless pursuit of our horizon. Non-conference basketball, uh, kind of a David and Goliath game when you get right down to a coach. And yep. uh, both teams, did they learn something in this one so far? The uh, Colonials, I just think they were trying to get some confidence uh, and get a win. Get off the schneid, 0-7, Chris. Mm -hmm. You just take any kind of a win. Here's Winston. He'll go down the lane and score. Justin, Justin Winston, Winston traveled in, uh, or transferred in, I should say, from St. Bonaventure. He also had to travel, too, because Oleander yeah. is not an easy place to get to. <laughs> Or get out of. <laughs> My buddy Fred Bozes was just up in early on visiting our buddy Mark Schmidt, the same right. Bonaventure. Bonnie's playing pretty well. Yeah, right? they were ranked. I don't know if they still are, but they were ranked 16th in the country, I believe. Yeah, that's how high they got the last time I checked. And we see the miss from Glasgow and the rebound for the Colonials, and they'll bring it the other way. We're under seven minutes to go here with a big Robert Morris lead. That's Rasheem Dunn. Justin Winston, he shot that one from Olean. Rebound by Mayers. 
And Mayers trying to put it back. And he got fouled. Yeah, nice effort by Matt Mayers. And he, he should dominate inside, and he is. That's a good sign. He just got to get his. He's got a motor going. He he, gets, he goes hard when he uh, is relaxed, but he's out there stinking so much, trying to do the right thing. And sometimes when you think too much, it kind of slows your game down. The Horizon League is comprised of 12 public and private institutions located in some of the largest and most vibrant cities in the country. There are 11 and a half million television households in the HL footprint and viewers consume more than 35 million minutes of Horizon League action in the 2020-21 season. To learn more, visit horizonleague.com. I'll tell you what, I got a nice little tour of the northern section of the Horizon League last week. When we were in Green Bay and Milwaukee. I've never been to Green Bay before. And exactly. If it weren't for the Horizon League, I don't know if I'd ever been able to go there. I've been in Milwaukee. I've never been in Green Bay. Probably won't ever get to Green Bay. It's only my <laughs> second trip to Milwaukee. I had the cheese curds, by the way. Oh, I, I, I love Milwaukee. <laughs> Great city. It really is. Long shot out front. And that one wouldn't go for Wilkins. Colonials again polish the window. Machine done. Six minutes left. Winston with a nice soft touch on the iron and let it drop in. Almost intercepted, saved by Glasgow. Yeah, Colonials want to just get this game over with. Well, hey, even Lancaster, too, and just get out of there without any injuries. Glasgow faded, fired, missed it from the left side of the key, and the Colonials end up with the basketball again with 5.40 to go in the game. It's a 90-43 lead for Robert Morris. Yeah, this is a game for uh, all the guys that don't get to play much. Rasheem Dunn was hanging, trying to fire that ball. Glasgow blocked it and fouled it. Chris C. Chase Cook coming to the ball game for Robert Morris now. There he is, number 12. Yeah, he's a preferred walk-on for Robert Morris. Chase Cook, uh, he's getting some playing time because of all the injuries and sickness of the Cardinals. Played on the road. Well, he got in, he played pretty well, too. He did. I thought he did a nice job. Cook finds Ferris, right wing side, three ball, yes. Uh, he hot. He can't miss. Save some of those for the Horizon League games. <laughs> Damn. That's what Andy Tool's thinking. Yeah, they won't have one until the tail end of the year when they go to Oakland and Detroit Mercy. Yeah. They'll be there on the 30th and the... First of January. Tough one this Saturday, Florida Gulf Coast. Yeah, I mean, you need to come out here and watch that one. Colonials beat Dunk City the last time. That was yeah. two years ago I'm down sure, there. I'm sh I don't know exactly what they have, but I'm sure they still have a lot of talent. They get a lot of talent. There's a bad pass by Ken. Schubert is trying to make him pay and does. Yeah. Schubert, I told you before, he it was poked in the eye. It's more like his cheek. He has a bandage. On his left cheek. Yeah, he got a little scratch there. Hasn't stopped him from scoring. And no fear driving to the basket that last time either. There's another steal. Caster still playing hard. This is Wilkins over to the right corner. Shoebridge. I'll tell you what, give these guys a lot of credit. John Max Club did not yeah. come here not to play. They are playing hard here at the tail end of this ballgame. They know they're not going to win it. They're down 93 to 45, but they're still showing their stuff. And Shoebridge couldn't get the fader to go. And Matt Mayers, that was his 10th rebound, according to my numbers. That's nice. And you get double figures and rebounds. Chase Cook for Bobby Moe. Tristan Jeffries to Winston. And a little popper. Nice pass by the only freshman on the colonial team, Tristan Jeffries. Easy finish for Justin Winston. Well, the new man in for lack of survival is Bijan Hunter II. He is from West Palm Beach, Florida. Inside they go to the old couch. And now back over to the right side and a foul call. <laughs> 321 left. Robert Morris up big. 95-45 over length. Exclusive ticket access to unmissable events. One of the many reasons you're with Amex Platinum. So I'm going to, right? Andy 
Tools trying to give some of the other guys a chance out there right now as we see a foul on the shot by Jakari Wilkins. Michael Green picks up the foul. That's going to be his third of the game. Yeah, it's not a good foul by Michael Green. You don't want to foul at this point in the game. You want him to run time off the clock. And especially on a three-point shooter. Right, exactly. That's never a good time to foul at a three-point shooter. The 1HL group is the student-athlete-led initiative that seeks to celebrate unity and inclusion while also bringing meaningful change across the Horizon League by encouraging student-athletes to be the change. Projects have included the annual Coach John McClendon Day, voter registration drives, and celebrations around diversity and inclusion. Learn more at horizonleague.com slash 1HL or by searching hashtag 1HL on social media. 309 left in the ball game, 95-48. Robert Morris, as you see at the bottom of your screen. This is Chase Cook. And the pass got away that time. Stolen by Isaiah Mitchell, who's fresh into the ball game, wearing number one in the black and red. John Mack trying to get some of his backups in there right now, too. Yeah, he's got a bunch in there. Michael Green's in there because he's trying to get in shape. Yeah. Trying to get his legs back and his mm -hmm. lungs back, too. Yeah. Saw him breathing pretty he, heavily earlier. He was actually sick, Chris. It wasn't yeah. just protocol. He, was, he definitely had COVID. Well, he, he caught it at Davidson, Jim, and you're absolutely right. He was ill. When we were getting on the bus, Andy Toole and I were the first ones out on the bus, and trainer Lauren Lynn got on and said, Coach, uh, I'm sorry to tell you this, but, you know, not only... Did Michael Green test positive, but he's not feeling well. And they had to leave him there for a couple of days. Yeah. Nice pass by Michael Green to Tristan Jeffries. Oh, Mayers missed another rebound attempt. And I miscounted Mayers' rebounds. He has a dozen in the ball game. That's great to see. He is just a bucket shy of a double-double. Yeah, I like to see him. I don't know if the Clones are aware of that. Get it into him, see if he can get a double-double. That's a nice accomplishment. Will Michael Spear Green. has one, 17 and 10. Crossover dribble against Mitchell. Green hesitates, drives, scores. Yes. 12 points, machine done, Chris. Or, um, Michael, Michael Green, Green, I should say. Mitchell sends it back inside, says Dale Couch, back out, Mitchell, three, no. Green with a rebound for Robert Morris. 90 seconds left in the game. And it's all been Robert Morris, 97 to 48. I don't, I know Andy Tool, he doesn't even want to score 100 points. Winston will bank it in, a little hook layup. 99 to 48. No look pass, Mitchell for the tray. Too strong. Green with a rebound. Nice pass by Jordan Trailer there. I like that. He's a nice little player, Jordan Trailer. He is. Cook up front trying to get the offense swirling. Tristan Jeffries with the ball. Winston over to Cook again. Shovels it off to Winston. Tried to hop into the lane with a Euro step, and he ended up charging. Into number 20, Bijan Hunter, the second. Yeah, he put that left shoulder right into him that time. You know who hasn't played also tonight was Jerron Williams. He was he hurt his ankle a couple of days ago in practice, and he started a couple games ago. He did, and did not play in Milwaukee either against the Panthers. And it was that Jordan Prelo again? He, he shoots a three. Got a nice game. Can be a good division three player. One of the waning moments of this one. Chase Cook isn't going to shoot. He's just going to dribble the clock out. Robert Morris is going to win it big. 99 to 51, our final score here at the UPMC Event Center in the West Hills of Pittsburgh, PA here tonight. Yeah, it was good to see Robert Morris not have a struggle. I, I knew they'd win the game tonight.